Hello everybody, it's Mr Falcons, and today we're going to read Dr Dog by Babbitt Cole. This is the Gamboyle family, and this is their dog. He is a doctor. Dr Dog went to a conference in Brazil to give a talk about bone marrow. While he was away, Grandad and the Gamboyle children got ill. We'd better get him back, said Ma Gamboyle. So they sent a telemessage to Brazil. Telemessage. We are all ill. Come home now. Love, Gumboils. And Dr. Dog came home. Kurt Gumboil had been secretly doing silly things in the bicycle shed. He'd gotten a wicked cough. It's not good to be silly out there. It's very damp and cold, said Dr. Dog. These spongy things inside our chest are called lungs, and they are our breathing machines. If you go out where it's mouldy, you'll fill them up with dirty things, and then they don't work properly, and we cough. Getty Gumboyle had not been wearing her raincoat and hat. She caught a cold and got a sore throat. The germs attacked her tonsils. She's got tonsillitis, said Dr. Dog. I will have to operate. So he took them out. Kev Gumboyle was scratching his head like mad. He's got nits, said Dr. Dog. These are eggs laid by little insects called lice. This is one, and they live in your hair. They don't look very nice. He plastered Kev's hair with smelly shampoo to kill the lice, and Kev had to wear it all day at school. Never stop combs and brushes with anyone, said Dr. Dog. He could get nits. Baby Gumboyle did not wash his hands after going to the toilet, and then he sucked his thumb. Ugh. And he let other children stick their fingers up his nose. So he got a tummy ache. He's caught worms, said Dr. Dog. They're breathing in his tubes. The worms wriggle inside you until they reach your bottom, and there they lay their itchy little eggs. If you scratch your bum, the eggs go underneath your fingernails. Sucking your thumb makes the eggs go back into your tummy where they hatch into more worms again. Never scratch your bum and suck your thumb, says Dr. Dog. <laughs> Fiona Gumboyle felt dizzy. It's all those cartwheels she's been turning, laughed her parents. Rubbish, growled Dr. Dog. She's got an earache. There are tiny bones inside our ear that help us balance. Earache can affect these and make us feel a bit dizzy. So Dr. Dog gave her some pills. Grandad had been eating too many baked beans and drinking too much soda pop. He's got terrible wind, said Dr. Dog. Here's a picture of your inside tubes. Soda pop and baked beans make gases in your tummy. The only way they can escape is to blast out of your bottom. It's disgusting, Dr. Dog told Ma and Pa Gumboyle. If you don't take better care of your family, there'll be a serious accident. So what, said the Gumboyles. We've got you to look after us, haven't we? Meanwhile, Grandad's dangerous gases were building up and... He farted so hard he blew the roof right off the house. Told you so, said Dr. Dog. Once the roof had been put back and he had made everyone better, Dr. Dog felt ill himself. You're suffering from stress, dog, said his doctor. What you need is a holiday away from that pesky family. Ah, just what the doctor ordered, said Dr. Dog. They'll never find me here. Oh no, said Dr. Dog. Cooey, hello, way, said the gumballs. The end. <laughs>